Welcome to this tutorial on installing XAMPP. Um, I'll be your host and I'll be taking you through all the steps of installing XAMPP. Alright, so the first thing to do is to head over to the XAMPP uh, page. You can just click the annotation on the screen that'll take you right there. Next, to go to the download page. I'll be installing on a Mac, but the uh, installation guide is exactly the same for Windows. As you can see, Windows is right at the top and then you've got Linux and you've got Mac OS X. Alright, so once you've downloaded it, you'll get your file and let's, then we want to go and open up our, our installation file. So we'll just wait for that to load. Okay, so we're going to get into our installation now. Just waiting for that and we'll say open. So I've got our password. And that'll pop up in a moment. Alright, and we're back. Okay, so let's just first let's work go through this installation. Most of it is just clicking next, so we'll start. We'll say, yep, we want to get all of those. Um, okay, and on Windows you can adjust where you want to have it installed. Um, I usually will change this to say localhost just to help with any confusion in the uh, later on and it just helps for better naming. But on the Mac you can just leave it um, just just remember where it goes to. Okay, we don't really want to do that. Next. Okay. And now it's installing, so we'll just wait for that to be done and I'll be right back. Alright, our installation of XAMPP is now complete, so now we'll launch it. Cool. And we are we are live. Um, now we've got our little management screen. Um, we can see what we're running. Um, we're running at the moment, we're just running Apache. We're, when we start running uh, things like WordPress or Drupal, we'll want to have our MySQL uh, enabled as well. So now we've got that. Let's go and visit our application folder. Okay, so what we're going to do quick is we're just going to make a new, a new file. Uh, we're going to make an index.php file. And we're going to just check to see that everything's running as it should. So let's open up your, open up your favorite uh, text editor. I'm just going to use a thing called Atom. It's very lightweight and easy to use. We're just going to write a very simple little PHP script. It's going to say hello world. Close that. Save. We're going to save this to go down and we'll find our HD docs again. We're going to find the new file that we just made. Hello world. We're going to call this index.php. All right, now we'll save that. Now what we want to do is we want to go across our browser. Okay, now that we're there, we want to go, we're going to be at our local host. And then we're just going to say slash hello world. And there you go. And that concludes this tutorial. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next one.